hello everyone welcome back how are you guys doing i hope that everybody is doing really well we're going to jump into gemini's reading okay um gemini's this is going to be your close contact energy now if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt all the information for me will be in the description box you guys um i do have two packages available 10 minute read and a 15 minute read the 10 minute read is 45 and the 15 minutes is 55 so and i do have other regular packages of course um they should be in the description box but let's just get entwined with your reading and see what we have for you no contact energy no contact energy thank you holy spirit ancestors come on in what's going on for the energy of gems angel guides the energy of gems no contact the person that they're thinking about the person that's thinking about them what's the energy here We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Hmm, Sag energy is coming out here with the Nine of Wands energy. This is in reverse. I feel like there is a lot of trials and tribulations for the person that is coming through. A lot of you had some kind of history or something that you have built together. This could be a marriage as well that is still coming up here. Um, I'm seeing like you watch this foundation fall and crumble because of multiple partnerships that this person had. And I'm also seeing that this person wasn't trying to change because you have the seven of cups, okay, in reverse, overwhelmed energy. And you also have the eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So a lot of family energy here that kind of crumbled a lot of plans a lot of energy a lot of investments a lot of planning a lot of work between you and this person using your hands and really putting in work with either a job to build something for each other and this person wasn't trying to change within reverse they weren't trying to make the situation better i'm seeing like um this person that is coming back in could be someone that just really just stopped like stop believing in this love stop believing in this relationship this is what i'm seeing here and they stopped um, but i'm getting the six of pentacles here so the holy spring the holy spirit is bringing back balance okay as you can see this is balance that's coming back in and it's being given back to you at a time that you really really need it and i'm seeing the two of swords here so you had to make a decision about this that was really hard for you and i feel like it's like overwhelming you at this point because you're receiving more information you're receiving evidence you're receiving facts and now you have to make a decision within the two of swords and it's like a overload of energy and you don't want to break this bond you don't want to break this bridge you don't want to not have this person in your life anymore because the two of swords for me is a peace card want to make peace with something or want to resolve something without breaking this bridge for you and this person and i'm also seeing like this person is someone that you are very close to um gemini's and you've been through a lot of history together a lot of trials and tribulations together and i'm seeing like it, you're just tired you're tired and a lot of you chose to walk away from this person so tell me more Okay, so we have the Page of Cups here in reverse. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. So interesting. I'm seeing a separation between you and this person, but children might be involved as well, or stocks and bonds, or a business, or something like that. And I'm seeing like this is important to stay up below. This is what I'm seeing, but this person is very prideful. So whatever they did to cause this relationship go this way, 
they're not taking responsibility of that situation this is what i'm seeing here okay i'm also seeing the queen of swords energy and this is just this blockage here and a confirmation that this is a no contact situation there's no conversation there's no crown chakra activity there's just a huge blockage like someone here doesn't want to understand a situation or have some form of information to come in so they can just like you know see a new perspective have a new direction this is just blocked but what is not blocked is the fact that this needs to remain as healthy as possible like nothing never happened kind of vibe so tell me more i have the ace of swords Ooh, so this is going to be an override the moon energy and also the six of cups you know i've been doing a lot of personals today and i've been getting the six of cups in reverse and i just feel like this is the connection i feel like there's a contract here a very deep one this is definitely a soul contract or some kind of karmic contract that needs to be adjusted and i'm seeing like you and this person is here within this life trying to make that happen and this could be someone that you knew for a long time or someone that you met in childhood so you could be very young when when you met this person within the six but i'm seeing gemini's within this no contact that you know this person's energy is just picking up a lot of negative vibes from the relationship so instead of focusing on the amazing time that this person had with you i'm seeing like this person is being triggered by the negative things that happened in the relationship and the crazy thing that this is is that this person might have even caused that all right and they're being whipped with guilt okay because i'm seeing the secret card here within the moon and i'm seeing the ace of swords the ace of swords is the truth is the spirit and it's the breakthrough of everything and i feel like even though this is in reverse you don't have any physical um um conversation um that's going on between you and this person where you are um su supplementing this energy on your own and or this person is supplementing this energy on their own to talk to you there's a spiritual aspects in the back of everything the noise um the gossip it's just the, the holy spirit is getting involved and i'm seeing the breakthrough happening here and it's going to override this conversation so i'm just seeing like there's going to be an understanding here. The secrets are going to be out because clearly in the moon, you just feel uneasy about something within the situation. You feel like this person is hiding something from you. You feel like there is something going on with another person. Um, this could be an Aquarius for example that you guys are dealing with that or this person is dealing with. Okay. But you feel like this person had to make a choice between you or another person for some of you. And this is the secret. Ooh, what is this dirt doing? One at a time. Okay. Let's see. He's crazy. I had the Queen of Cups just now and I put it back in the deck because the, the deck kind of broke and it kind of flipped. And I saw it and I put it back and here it is again. So it's meant to be here. So the Queen of Cups energy. So a lot of you could be dealing with a cancer or someone very sensitive. Or you could have cancer placements within your chart. I'm seeing the Two of Wands here as well. Okay. So, yeah, exactly what this is. I just feel like this person that you're dealing with, even though there's a separation happening here, there is some kind of breakthrough that's going to happen. This is what I'm seeing. Like, all the lies are going to be coming up from into the surface. So, everything is going to be out and about. This person is not going to have any form of control over this. But I'm seeing, like, this wanting to try with you, right? Having a lot of feelings for you as well. All right, I'm seeing the four of pentacles. The strength is also coming up. And I'm also seeing the page of wands for those of you. So something that I want to just point out because I'm seeing this right now. And I'm seeing like this person. Let's move these here. This person's energy, you guys, is an energy that I'm getting like they have no new perspective. They have no um way of dealing with this or trying to fix this um trying to you know 
move in a certain way or, you know, just understanding the situation. They just don't know because we have the page of swords here. We have the page of wands. So they, they're not trying to get out of this. They, I feel like this person is not of, is not of created, creative, creative to get out of this. I feel like you were the one. But Angel Michael's appearing here within the, the, the strength card. And I'm seeing that it's like a reminder to be strong within this energy, okay? And to remain your to, to remain strong, to proclaim your strength, and to definitely set healthy boundaries here, especially if you see something that you don't like. Don't just let this person handle you, you know? Don't let the lion handle you, which the lion can within Leo. You have to know how to deal with this gently and in a different way. Okay, uh, I'm seeing a future vibe here. Future vibe. Okay, <laughs> tell me about the Six of Cups energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Two of Pentacles. So this person has someone else. This is what I'm getting. They were, there was some kind of third party situation. All right, or this could be you, but I'm gonna tap into this person's energy. I'm seeing two situations here, two of swords, two of pentacles. I'm seeing like this this decision did not want to be made, like it was forced upon. I feel like this person is acting like a child. I feel like this person wanted to see if they can get away with this. This person wasn't giving you an offer. All right, this person didn't expect this relationship to go this way i feel like this person was giving you whatever they thought they can give you within the four of cups and you became very bored very quickly okay all right so tell me more i'm seeing pisces major arcana leo major arcana here what else i think that's it leo and pisces tell me more Wow. All right, so you have the fools on the back of the deck, and I'm seeing another child. I'm seeing child energy. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. I'm seeing the three of cups here, so there was a lot of shadiness here. This person either slept with, with their friend or your friend or your family member. This is what I'm seeing here, but there was some, some kind of shadiness with a friend, and I'm seeing like this person act like nothing was going on here within this situation i'm also seeing the king of cups energy here as well so i feel like within this energy because i'm seeing yin and yang and i'm seeing like this person offering you something and also offering this person something when it comes to the heart not with what not when it comes to the stability all right so the stability is falling apart here this is what i'm seeing here i feel like this person is giving you an offer like i love you kind of vibe and so they were doing the same thing here. But I feel like within this situation, I'm also getting ma uh, manipulation, a lot of manipulation, like a real strong masculine energy or trying to appear strong and manipulating the situation, manipulating your mind and making you feel like, you know, there is nothing going on here, but it's actually is something going on here. It's been something going on here, right? So we have the King of Swords energy and we also have the Judgment and... We have Gemini and Virgo energy as well within the Magician. So power to you. I'm seeing like you're taking back your power. You're claiming back your power. A lot of you are praying, hoping for the best, you know, hoping that the universe come into play here, that something amazing happened, will happen here for you or this person. I'm just seeing like you're leading with positive energy here because there's so much noise. Uh, I, don't, I feel like when I'm looking at the Seven of Cups energy, I'm just getting like, um, there's a lot of overwhelming, needy folks here, you know? Like, I'm hearing codependency 101. Here's the conversation coming into play. I feel like a lot of you let this person go because of some kind of money issue, too. I feel like this person doesn't have, like, they spend money, for those of you who live together, Spend the money that you are saving on things that they want and not things that we want. Um, I'm also seeing the judgment here. So this is a final decision. 
this is what I'm seeing Aries and Libra energy conversation in Aquarius but you're looking for positivity let me just tap into this person's energy really quickly and see what the energy is when it comes to this relationship all right so what's the energy when it comes to this relationship for Janice. this relationship there's no contact energy for gems let me see energy here Wow, I feel like a lot of you might be having differences between what you believe and what you don't believe, um, your spirit, how you were raised, and this is now coming up. A lot of you are tapping into spirituality, this person don't understand it. They feel like you guys are from the different clots, cut from different clots, that's what I'm hearing. But they don't understand like this is perfectly timed <laughs> okay so tell me more Holy Spirit if you want to purchase my deck will be in the description Yeah, your spiritual um, energy is definitely coming in because I'm seeing Angel Michael here, plus your ancestors that are all over you right now. And it's something about staying focused and putting the pieces together because you are receiving messages at this time. I'm also seeing the strength card again within Leo, Fire Energy 111 for those of you who are seeing this. And you feel like, you know what, you did here, you've been here, you did this before. Um, you're bored, you need to go towards something else. The angels were saying, no, relax, you're meant to be here. And I'm seeing that you're definitely protected. So something is being activated here because someone is envying you or jealous of you. This is what I'm getting. And you're being protected here. A lot of you might be seeing 111 or 444. I feel like this is someone who... Every time I look at this peach rose, you guys, I don't know. You just get this peach rose a lot. Every time I look at it, I just feel like there's someone that wanted you to just settle. And this could have been about a relationship. And a lot of you did. But now you're realizing that this might not have been the right thing to do. Oof. Wow, what did I say? 7716, angel number betrayal. And you have no idea. And here's the angel behind it. Judge. Well, here's the angel that's looking, you know, behind everything. Like, keeping up with everything. Judgment, okay? Um, it says here number 20, you know? But I feel like this is just a confirmation that something is decided here. Even if you can't make that decision. Even if you are going back and forth within your thoughts even though the angels have been giving you signs and evidence and just showing you the facts and giving you confirmation upon confirmation and because you feel like you don't have the strength within you which they're reminding you a lot about the strength to have strength to have courage and to know that you can do this in a way that is going to be healthy because a lot of you are definitely trying to manifest or trying to pray or wait for the universe to kind of like put that positive vibe or that breakthrough within your life. Um, I'm seeing red rose here. So, wow, there's going to be new love. So a lot of you were, you chose this peach rose, which is the closed deal. So this, this seems so perfect at one point right and a lot of you marry this person here and here you have someone else coming in 
that has some kind of deep love for you. All right, so, <laughs> wow, fearless energy, number nine, bold, spiritual, brave. Look at that crown. Look at that third eye for some of you. I mean, you're just receiving so many messages and you're just like happy to receive it. But I'm seeing new love. I'm seeing someone that has deep love for you and respect. This could be someone from your past as well that is also coming back into your life. Appreciation, romance, and passion. Okay, so when you see this person, you're going to feel the passion. You're going to feel that energy. <laughs> So let's just get into this person's energy and see what we have here. Let's see what we have. person's energy that's coming out for gems this person's energy that's coming out for gems Ooh. the ace of swords in reverse so the, the breakthrough that is coming in is going to be for you not for this person i'm also seeing the ace of cups so of course you know they have a lot of love for you here within the ace of cups i'm also seeing the three of wands energy so they're trying to find out like what how to do this how to get back what did they do within this situation a lot of you they're still spying wondering missing you emotionally a wreck over you never really moved on with anyone else because how can they when they want to give you this ace of cups here i'm also seeing the knight of pentacles so they want you to be patient they feel like they're going to be successful in life they feel like they're on the right path here they feel like they're working really hard i'm also seeing that working really hard to change to be a better person for you okay but i'm also seeing that the three of swords is in reverse here and this is letting me know that they waited for you to get over this broken heart or this disappointment that they place within your life okay so tell me more all right All right, so you have the Five of Wands energy. You also have the Eight of Swords. So you have the Eight of Pentacles plus the Eight of Swords in reverse. So you guys are just like really getting back your self-confidence here. Um, one point, this person made you feel stuck in a situation. This is what I'm seeing here. You felt stuck, unvalued, unappreciated. Um, you felt like this person was trying to manipulate your mind. I'm also seeing this um, five of wands and I feel like this person wants you to know like, you know, they're watching you and they're seeing how amazing you have came out of this situation on your own for some of you. You didn't need that clarification from this person or clarity from this person. You did this for yourself and I'm seeing like they're watching you and they're really thankful because now with that five of wands energy, they're trying to come and try to like solve this five of one with you um the friction you know that energy that made you feel like you weren't you were never number one in their in their life or you know there were always someone else and you know this person is always looking for someone else like they're willing to come back in and try to work this out and now i'm seeing the king of pentacles in the upright where they're trying to give you that security within that situation now so something huge must have happened um here i feel like something life changing took place um that they seen but i don't see that spiritual change and for some of you that was the issue with this energy with this person not all of you but some because that 
religious factor came up okay and i'm also seeing the queen of wands energy so here you are and this is how they look at you and again that energy of just watching you and it falls right under the three of wands beautiful energy that they're just watching this queen of wands energy and watching all your success and your creativity and you know and they want to be a part of that as well but you have a lot of ancestors that are protecting you look at that cat look at that cat okay and crazy because you have that card right that protector card that also came up for four four for some of you because there was some kind of betrayal okay this protector energy is angel michael right it says archangels and loved ones okay and they're undercover so they're showing up in you know butterflies bumblebees um birds um what else cats dogs um for some of you it depends on what you like um maybe see deers a lot um white birds they're, they're just showing up around your life a lot moth you know showing up a lot um when it comes to you know you know insects animals but I'm definitely seeing this lover's energy as well. And it's crazy because this person is looking at you as the lovers. Okay, now, this Gemini energy, like, they miss you. They miss that, um, and that's you, gems, right here. They miss that, um, that energy where you guys were just physical. This is what I'm seeing here. You're so soft and nourished and, and slow and loving while when you make love. That's what I'm seeing as well. But I'm also seeing that this person is showing me that you block them, a lot of you, because you know, the stabbing in the back, that's one. And it was really affecting you mentally because this person was manipulating your mind. All right, tell me more. Okay, you have the tower energy, Scorpio and Aries coming out here. And then you also have, let's see here, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords energy. So this, um, I feel like when I'm looking at this, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Tower, they're saying that this situation was so fast like this breakup i feel like this person had way too many choices you know they're you're looking at them as the knight of swords and like things were just coming up out of nowhere especially when it comes to partnerships and when it comes to choices and when it comes to this person not being ready to commit right this keeps coming up within the relationship and i'm seeing like they're bringing this up like but they're saying like in their energy in your energy it was just so overwhelming with information but with their situation they're saying like oh this didn't matter this is what they're bringing up and i'm also seeing this energy right here like i said with the tower eerie scorpio energy fighting in the tower a lot of masculine trying to control each other um, and this could also be manipulation, but I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords energy where this person is bringing up the physical and um, emotional, um, mental abuse that went on within this relationship. And this is still a constant vibration. So the tower is constant, um, which this is a no, cont no contact, so I'm not surprised. Then you have the Ten of Swords, which is constant. So there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. There's a lot of forgiveness, a lot of letting go, a lot of closing doors. Okay, look at this Ace of Pentacles. Wow, they're showing up on the back of the deck. Um, let's see, let's be nosy. Ooh, apology. Ah, interesting. And then you have the High Priestess. So talk about spirituality, huh? Talking about a religious factor. <laughs> talking about um, you just being so like powerful spiritually and this person might not be able to take it and that's because you know your angel guides are telling you like you've been around your soul is not new okay you have lived a couple of lives and this is why you're so calm in certain things or this is why you learn um other things so quickly why others might just struggle 
you know this is what i'm seeing here so there is a lack of stability with this person's energy when it comes to stability so they're not going to be the one that are giving you that stability the holy spirit is going to be the one that's giving you that stability whatever this is for you this could be money that they took from you or time something about your energy is that you're going to get that back on your own because they're losing a lot right now and then you have the seven of swords with this person just know that they lied about certain things this must have been an investment or something that they needed from you and they had to lie to you to get it they had to lie to you to get it this is what i'm seeing here this person is just really cray cray all right tell me more holy spirit <laughs> this person is giving me cray cray energy y'all oh something i knew that was gonna fall I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> All right. So, wow. Look at that. Another seven. Seven of Pentacles energy. Oh, wow. The Ten of Wands energy. And also, you have the Nine of Pentacles energy. So, talk about this person losing a lot. Remember, I talked about investments. And I feel like this person was putting a lot of investments into things that they shouldn't have done. I feel like they were trying to make easy money. I feel like a lot of things were, you know, a lot of responsibilities were on them or they took up a lot of work and it just fell to the ground and tumbled. This person could have lost their job, okay? Lost their job, lost their position. And you know what I'm seeing here? Like they're watching you being successful. They're watching you being nurtured and kind and growing things or being creative. And you were a big deal for them with that aspect, with that energy. And because you're not there anymore, they're tumbling. Everything that you guys have worked for. So it could have been that you were the brains of this relationship. This is what I'm seeing here. You were the brains. Or you were the, what you call that? The balance of the relationship. Because I'm seeing now that they're just, like, they're losing everything. They're losing their identity. I feel like this person still has money coming in, but I just feel like they're really living off of what, what is left from the Ace of Pentacles, what is left from the foundation that you guys have built. Okay. I'm also hearing some things that they have got in the relationship, like they wouldn't have got... When they were single and they had to be with someone or married to get these things to be eligible for these things I, i'm just hearing that with, within my my crown chakra but i'm also seeing the queen of swords energy here so again you know it's i'm, I'm seeing communication but i'm seeing that let me just go back let me just go back because i know i've seen it it must have been on your draw so this person is saying that there is no communication for you. Like, so when we saw that communication, I feel like the Holy Spirit is going to make a way for this person to kind of come in and explain themselves. But I just want you to know this person is not changed. Okay. Because they have the Ace of Swords here spiritually. They're not there yet. The Queen of Swords, I feel like you had to put your feet down because you gave this person many chances and they're looking at you as the queen queen of wands queen of swords um and they're saying that you put your feet down they're saying that you're done with the like you're done with that nonsense you're done with, like really listening to this person and believing in this person and thinking that whatever they oh sorry guys whatever they bring up is truth because you know that it's not true okay i feel like this person wants to just start over though this is what i'm getting here wow so they look at the ten of pentacles in reverse tell me more the king of wands but they want to change this they want this ten of pentacles like i said when we pulled that ten of pentacles in your read it was very important to them but they feel like that situation is in like turmoil right now this is what i'm getting and when I clarified, I got the king, the king of wands, and they want to be very successful with that. So that's a confirmation right there with that situation. Okay, tell me about the queen, the queen of swords, Holy Spirit. Queen of swords, six of cups in reverse. Wow. 
So this is again a contract and this is someone from the past. I don't feel like this blockage is going to work because this person is showing up like they have ties within your life. Yeah, this is a completion. So something amazing is going to take place here to kind of help this situation. Um, I'm seeing like whatever you guys are just dealing with now is just coming to an end, coming to a completion here. And it's not to say that, oh my God, you're not going to see each other again. It's just something else. It's like the truth is coming to the surface. So just like the Ace of Swords within your energy, like something, the truth is going to be placed to the surface so you can handle that, so you can make a decision, so you can be comfortable with your decision to move forward, whatever that might mean for you. But the angels don't want you to be stuck. And this is about the seven because this person is saying the seven of swords is out. So, you know, it's out. They can breathe now. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like this person's like, I can breathe now. I can breathe. Okay, tell me more. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Are, wow. So they want to rebuild. I, I'm seeing like, look at that, the start in reverse. So they're waiting for an opportunity within the Holy Spirit. They're waiting for an opportunity here and they feel like it's so small. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow. They want this abundance. The opportunity seems like it's just hopeless. It's hopeless, but they still want to try. They still want to move forward. They still want to celebrate. They still want to go to a club. Or, you know, uh, what you call it, bar and grill or a party or some kind of social event to kind of like get this rolling. You know, this person is definitely someone that moved in very quickly with you or they fall in love very quickly. This is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about this fool's energy. Wow, apology. Apology. I'm sorry. This was your friend. That's what I'm getting. This was your friend. This was your friend at first. And then I'm seeing the judgment here. So huh. karmic, huh? Karmic vibes. Okay, the scales has to be even. There is something that happened here. Something that's being judged. Something that happened within the situation, within the judgment. Um, Aries and Libra energy for those of you. Major Arcana. And look at this situation now. Like this is being judged. The wheel of fortune is in the up. Uh, the wheel of um, the world. I said the wheel of fortune in the world, which is Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, is in the upright. Aquarius is also coming out again within the star. Oh, look at that! All right, the moon, Pisces. The Holy Spirit is like in Pisces. <laughs> And look at that chariot is on the way on the back of the deck. That's what you don't see coming. Oh my. That's what you don't see coming, by the way. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Someone is trying to be successful and wants another chance. This is what I'm seeing here. And then you have the king of wands here. And then you have, is it? No, I'm sorry. The knight of wands and the nine of wands energy. So despite everything, this person wants you to know, like, I'm rushing in because they don't want to lose you and they know that they caused you a lot of trials and tribulations and you know you protected this person you try to fight for this person this person pushed you away this person burnt you out this person take um took you into a loop um and they don't feel comfortable with this i don't i'm not seeing like that was the issue here okay well, you have the chariot on the back. And oh, I just feel like, let's see what this person wants you to know. All right. No contact energy. One at a time, please. Ooh. And look what happened. I'm obsessed with you. I kind of figured. I kind of figured. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about gems because... What is the energy? I don't want to be alone. I'm crying like a baby because there's a separation here. This person doesn't know how to be by themselves. So this is someone that does not know 
and does and is not comfortable if being with themselves all right tell me more why can't i tell you the truth and i feel like this is so on point right now with that energy because this person is like telling me it's about the truth and the holy spirit is like look i'm going to have this truth come out whether or not this person is ready period point blank okay I am stuck in the vision of us together. So a lot of you broke up with this person, okay? Because again, you were tired of the four. Whatever four they were giving you, the four cups, the boredom of this relationship, okay? Will this ever change? Question mark. So this person wants to get back together. And they're playing hardball. Like, they just want to be friends. Somebody here is like, I want to be friends because I had the... um. The page of cups come up twice. Like this person just wanted to be friends or something. But the truth is, yeah, they just want to break the ice here. Okay. Ooh, this flew. <laughs> I'm the man. So this is a masculine energy. I'm a man. I'm the man. So they're the masculine. Okay. This could be a woman or a man. But this card is saying, I'm the man. Like, I'm the man of the relationship. I'm the masculine of the relationship, okay? All right. I can't make a decision. So, yeah, this person, again, juggling energy, confirmed. Multiple partnerships, confirmed. This person does not know what to do. Why do I deserve someone like you? Because... This person doesn't deserve you, but <laughs> cross watcher, don't come for me. <laughs> um, tell me more. People don't believe in me. Wow. People don't believe in me. One more. And then we're going to close. I wish I could be a different person. And I feel like this person is really trying to be someone else. But I feel like, again, spiritually... I'm just not seeing them there yet. I can't. And when I say spiritually, you guys, I'm just seeing like this person is just not changed completely on a spiritual level. Like the like <laughs> I just feel like this person is just scared because of what their life look like now. And they're seeing like karmic energy falling into their lives and they're losing things. And they're just falling backwards and they're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is not what I want my life to be. But I can't let go of you. Okay. And this is not good. <laughs> kind of toxic vibration. But this is what I have, you guys. I hope it resonates. It is so hot today. Um, which I'm not complaining because, you know, I am just down with the heat. But I'm going to change my shirt because I feel like I'm so hot. And yeah, I hope it resonates gems and this is what i have for your no contact and i hope i answered every question that you needed to hear and if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video don't forget to like the video it really helps the channel here um i will try to go live tonight you guys and but no promises because it depends on how i feel with the message <laughs> but love you and i will say <laughs> See, I'm getting tired already. Love you and I'll see you in your next one. Bye guys.